Hey guys, I have here a rudder trim indicator. I just plugged it into to the synchro card and I'm using one channel to power the entire unit and the other channel to generate the signal. Um, as you can see here, I have the software uh, for this, uh, prepared for this uh, uh, to do the mapping and connecting to the simulator. So let's enable this card. Um, that will actually enable the gauge and apply the configuration. So now it's power up, but we can also um, edit that gauge, that uh, card. You can see here I have one output uh, for 400 hertz to power, so it's a rather a rather trim power, and the other one is the rather trim. And if I go here to this page, I can actually to set the offset. I can play a little with it. Uh, so. You can mark with the mouse a little bit or with the keys. So the sensitivity at the moment is quite high, but let's put it a li little bit smaller. There it is. Save and finish. And now the simulator is actually connected, prosim. And the variables we see here, uh, rather trim, this is the gauge, and that is what is coming from the simulator. And if we can open here, you will see in ProSim. It's really, really fast. The idea is to play a little bit with the with the smoothing factor to get it arranged properly because these instruments are updating super super fast. Also, the data I'm sending is uh, is updating the the cycle very fast. So the idea is that uh, choosing the right smoothing factor to get both uh, high speed and very smooth uh, indication. But it's working quite well. Um, with ProSim and also there are or simulators I have here uh, could work also with X-Plane and so on yeah this is a small update with this beautiful gauge